garage as you know we like motorcycles here and the one cool thing about having a shop in Southern California especially around Burbank is you know this was the home of Lockheed and all the uh, World War II planes were built right around the corner so consequently there's all kinds of machinists and interesting designer type people living in this area and this is a bike I saw go by my shop a couple of times and I found out there's a guy building these bikes just Two miles from where we're standing right now. His name's Adam Gaspick. Adam, come on in here. How you doing? I'm good. Jay. And I name your shop is what? Gasser Custom. That's right. That's Gasser right. Custom. Okay. Yeah, I saw this, and uh, you know, you see a lot of bikes, especially older bikes. This is a '75 Honda, right? That's correct. 750, but it just had so many nice little custom touches on it. I thought, hey, let's uh, let's bring them over and talk to them because we, you know, we do all the new Ducatis and all that kind of stuff, but. How many guys have an older bike sitting in their garage you just like to sort of freshen up or customize a little bit or, or just make it even faster? So tell me about this bike. Is, was this a customer bike? Was it your bike? Well, this is a bike that uh, got built in some of my spare time in between customer builds. I kind of wanted to go for something that was uh, inspired by the old hot rods of the 50s. So right. as you can see, the, the white wall tires and it's, it's low and it's long and it's you got a lot of performance parts on it so that's kind of how it started. Now what frame am I looking at here? The frame is a 75 uh, is, 750 Super Sport. It is a stock frame. Stock swing arm? Well, um, Nell's swing arm is off an interceptor from 84. Oh, okay. And it's been um, modified to, to fit the application. The frame as I mentioned was 75 but it's been modified quite heavily as well. And the wheelbase is a little bit longer than stock? It would be a little bit longer, yeah. Okay. It's, it's also got the front end off an 84 VF750 interceptor. All so right. it's, it's kind of two decades of 750 blended into one. So when you put something like this together, you know, the old hot rodders back in the late 40s and 50s and 60s would go to the junkyards and go, hey, that's interesting. Let me put that on. Mm -hmm. We have Johnson and Wood. We have a couple of motorcycle dismantlers, we that's call them right. now. They were junkyards when I was a kid. Yeah. But do you go down there and think, hey, that would look cool? Or do you, did you start out saying, that's the front end I have in mind. Let me find one. Or did you find this front end and adapt it to the bike? You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what happened, yeah. We had a, we had a donor interceptor that, um, you know, for the most part had been crashed. So there was only a few things that had been uh, savable. Right. The front end was great. I didn't want to use a too new a front end. Um, I wanted to use something that matched the rest of the bike and, the you know, it had the whole appeal. So the 84 front end was, um, you know, much better than, than what it came with in 75. So... We've got 39 millimeter show of forks as opposed to 35s. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Honda's adapted uh, a track anti dive system into this one fork, so right. um, the suspension is much better than it used to be. Right. And um, it just works really well together. I notice a lot of modern touches. Uh, mm -hmm. These headlamps. This um, I love this uh, master cylinder. Thank now, you. What is that off of? Is that an aftermarket piece? That's not off another motorcycle. Is no, it? it's it's a it's a Nissan Radio Master, but um, the reservoir here is made by a company called Rizoma. They make okay. beautiful aftermarket add-ons for all various various bikes. The turn signals, the foot pegs, and the uh, the clear brake master reservoir are made by Rizoma. Well, see, that's what I like too. He's also got turn signals on this, which you have to have in Los Angeles. Absolutely. Now, early bikes in the '70s, technically, you don't have to have turn signals on them, but I think it's a smart thing to do. And the way they're integrated, it almost looks better with them than it would look without them. So I think that's nicely done. Uh, that's, obviously that is not an old piece, that is a new modern piece. They're brand new, yes. LED, LED, is that LED is? exactly, yeah. Okay. yeah. So all, our bikes, all our bikes get built with everything they need to go down the road safely. Turn signals, headlight, gauges, mirrors. And this is a stock Honda tank, is it? No. It is, actually. <coughs> it's, oh, it is, okay. It's off a 78 Super Sport. Okay, so yeah, it, it looked like it a It naturally Honda looks tank. a little bit longer. Right. That's, that's a focal point. A lot of people have asked that question. They think I've stretched it or done something to it. Well, but you've it, done, how did you get your... Uh, you, those are our logos that were, they're done by our painter, but that's basically... Um, oh, I see. That's not embossed in the metal. That's laid no, over. No, it's, it's, yeah, exactly. It's underneath oh, the paint. Done. Yeah. Oh, nicely done. Okay. I thought it was, looked like it was stamped in the tank, so that's kind of cool. Maybe in the future we'll try that. And you got your uh, oil tank back there? Yeah, custom-made aluminum oil tank okay. for this application. Holds about the same three and a half liters that it should from... Was this a dry stuff. sump originally? Yeah, they all are. The I 69 right. through 78 oh, that's were... that's right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And the white wall tires are a nice touch. Thank you. You know, I don't know if I would have done them myself, but now I see them on them, I go, oh, they like it. Well, you know, if someone said, how about white walls? No. Because I have no <laughs> right. imagination. But then I look at it, I go, it looks kind of cool. And this is meant to look almost like a primer, right? To give exactly. it sort of yeah. a... It's, it's metallic, but it's a flat finish. So yeah, it's, yeah, nicely it's done. Okay. Nothing too flashy. So we got a Honda 750. I notice you've, you've drilled around the fins there a little bit. Yeah, like What's some, the of the, point of that? some of the early works bikes had those, yeah. you know, the cylinder heads drilled like that. Um, so I wanted to just give it some, some cool old hot rod touches. Um, yeah, nicely done. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to believe it's a 40-year-old bike. <laughs> it is, I know. Yeah, so still 750 cc's? Or you well, it's, it? it's got an 836 wise okay. kit in it now. Um, the heads, cylinder heads had some machine work done to it. New valves, new uh, valve that springs. that kit. That's like from the... From back in the They've day. They've been making it for a while. Yeah, yeah. Are they still making it? Or did you sure find do. Old? No, they oh. still make it, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. What carburetors are on there? It's actually twin Mikuni VM34s okay. as opposed to the original four, right. bank of four that were on there. Yeah, I see that. Cool. Is that a custom exhaust system or is that an aftermarket? It's, yeah, it's a four into one. Um, we had it custom made for this bike um, with a reverse megaphone, shorty stainless right. exhaust on it. Um, Works Performance custom made the, the rear shocks specifically for this bike. Um, ride height, length. But this is nicely done, this bracket to hold the license plate. Yeah, I didn't just want to mount it any which way, sideways or any illegal way. So I, right. I had to devise some kind of a bracket and um, bolted it to the swing arm so it, it retains its height all the time and always moves with the suspension yeah. so it's never in. And these are my favorite mirrors, you know, because you can't, you can't drive a bike in LA without mirrors. Absolutely it's unbelievable not. how crazy it's it is. It's very dangerous, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's nicely done. Mm -hmm. Uh, have you upgraded the charging system? Well, I guess with these headlights, they don't draw as much. They don't pull as much, but yes, it does have an upgraded rectifier regulator in it. Yeah. Um, especially to run the Dyna ignition. And you gotta wash your hands every time you drive it because these are white, <laughs> so you can't be, you know, you have to do, make sure and do That's all right. that. That's yeah. right, yeah. Uh, and this is a speedometer? Yes, this, you can turn the key on one position. Okay. Um, it's a Motoscope Pro, it's made by Moto. Oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Look yeah, at that. It gives you all your different functions. You can go through the Is the there a menu. tack as well? The tack goes right around the outside. You can see zero, five thousand, ten thousand. So as you're riding, you'll see this bar I climb. See. Yeah. And then you'll have your odometer in the middle, and then you can cycle through all the different. Boy, that's a nice little piece, isn't it? It's very yeah. unobtrusive. Look how small it is. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. So people could bring their bike to you and go, I just want this, but I don't want that. I just want this speedometer and it's this packet. I mean, sure. obviously, this is a complete bike, and a it lot is. of work and effort goes into it. But any individual thing someone could do, couldn't they? Of course. I mean, we, we do you know partial builds, partial fabrications. We make a lot of custom parts, not only for Hondas, but we make parts for BMWs, Triumphs, uh, many different makes and models. Cool. And yeah, we can build you a full bike as well if you Very want. Very nicely done. Just, Thank you. Uh, is it possible to take it for a ride? Absolutely. Oh, we got to take it for a ride. <laughs>
that was a lot of fun. You know, when you get to be my age, I'm not looking for a job. I don't want to ride a bike, it's a lot of work. And when you get a lot of these custom bikes, it's just a lot of work because nothing matches. It's all looks and, and not, uh, sometimes you pay for the famous name. I would rather pay for the workmanship. And in this case, it's really the workmanship. This is just a nice driving, nice shifting bike. I know it sounds silly, but the thing that impresses me the most is just the ability to find neutral. You come up to a light, you just touch second gear, boom, you're right in neutral. It makes it a real pleasure. You're not clicking down and clicking up and clicking down. I mean, it feels like a modern 21st century Japanese motorcycle, but it's not. It's almost, what, 40 years old and uh, just beautifully done. Adam, thank you very much. Thanks, Jay. I want to say thanks Appreciate a lot. It. And like I said, he's two miles from me, so see? Sometimes the best things in life are right in your own backyard. See you next week.